Hi everyone, this is Hyobar here. Um, today I want to do a follow-up review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Um, so I've been using this for more than a month now. I was originally going to do this a 30 day review, but uh, I kind of forgot and I don't really have the time. So this is what the tablet looks like. Um, I've been using it every day um, since I got it for drawing. Um, the app I use is Ibis Paint, um, which is free, uh, though you do get ads on that. So it kind of balances out. If you use, if you watch the ads, you get access to all of the pet brushes. So that's a good thing. Um, what do I want to talk about? Well, let's first talk about the pen. The S Pen is very, again, light, but it's not too light. This is a normal pen and this is an S Pen and it kind of weighs the same actually. It's not too far off. The difference is with the S Pen uh, compared to the S8 and the S7 is that this doesn't need a charge. What do I mean by doesn't need a charge? It means it doesn't need to have its power um, charged in order for you to draw. So for this one, uh, this tablet, for example, there isn't a uh, battery inside. So you can just draw straight away without it with the um, S8 and S7 is the same as well, but the charge is for your uh, Bluetooth functions. So it's more for your gesture functions, which I've never used anyway for Samsung products and I've never used for any of my phones either. Now this pen does have a magnet in it. So for the S8 Lite, it sticks to the side of the tablet here. Um, but if you have the S6, uh, not the light version, you should be able to attach it to the back like that uh, using the flat surface is where the magnets are. The magnets are usually around here. Um, this does give me a degree of um, flexibility when it comes to suddenly having to stop drawing. But personally, I would always keep this pen inside this holder for the case. Now, what I want to talk about with the pen is the nib. The nib is small compared to the Apple Pencil. Um, but despite it being smaller, I find this actually better for more detailed work uh, because it's uh, finer. You will notice on the nib, there's these um, kind of like threading, but that's actually part of the pen. I actually thought that this was fraying, but it's not. It's, I think this is what actually allows me to glide the pen more smoothly over the glass. So I use a glass protector instead of a matte protector because one, the matte protector from what I've seen has um, always been an issue to the pens and pencils is that it wears out the nib and I don't really plan to get a new nib for a while and that's despite me using this quite heavily I've been drawing every day like I said before and I've got 150 pieces of different types of art and doodles um, now what do I want else to say is yeah so obviously this comes with the tablet so this is free um, if you had to get an apple a tablet and you need a pen you have to buy either the gen 1 or the gen 2 gen 1 is the one with the weird um, thunderbolt cable sticking out of the back of it uh, where there's a little cap and you're going to end up losing that cap we all know you're going to end up losing that cap and then you stick it into the bottom of the tablet in order to charge it and it kind of stays there which is a bit stupid really because let's be honest you you don't want to be sticking an expensive pen and into an expensive tablet for someone to just kind of walk past and kind of hit it and then God knows what it's going to do to the screen and display and the pen. Now, the Apple Pencil also requires a charge in order to, for you to draw. That's a big downside for me because especially in this day and age where the energy prices are going up, you don't want to be charging an additional device that you feel, well, I feel should be able to just be used straight away out of the box without having a charge. And this is perfect because this doesn't require any charge. My tablet is the only thing that needs charging. Battery wise, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite holds a 7000 amp charge. Um, so it lasts me two to three days, depending on usage. Um, if I draw for four hours straight in a day, it'll probably bring me down to about 40%. Isn't too bad, 10% per hour. Um, I don't use this for media consumption, but I do know this is perfect for media consum uh, consumption. So let me just show you what it's like to watch a video. Uh, let me just go onto YouTube first. The one thing I hate about YouTube, obviously, is the damn bloody ads. 
about yesterday, but you can hear from the speaker is quite good, it's quite loud as well. But I don't usually use it this loud, I usually about here if I'm by myself and it's night time, I'll probably about here. But speakers are good, speakers are located here and here. Um, so these these two areas here at the end. Um, for a cover, it's not going to be the best place because if it's here and I naturally have the tablet on my lap like that, I'm going to end up probably covering the speakers a lot of the time. Um, so that's not perfect for me, but I think it is designed so you hold it like this and then you have the buttons at the top, which makes sense. So it is actually designed very well, but for a case, it's not that well designed. Um... What else do I want to talk about? Yes, so the weight of the tablet is 465 grams. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Uh, and the case, in my case, is 220 grams, so it's all together 685 grams. So it's not easy to use with one hand. You can still draw with one hand if you hold it kind of like this, where your, your arm is holding and, and supporting it from underneath. But I would recommend that you do this on a table. Uh, the case, again, provides that profile that I need for drawing uh, and resting and for watching TV or shows if I ever do so. Um, but yeah, this is perfect again for carrying around because it's not too big. It's 10.4 inches. I know the S8 is 11 inches, the S8 Plus is 12.4 and then I believe it's 15.6 for the Ultra. Those last two are too large and the 11 I've tried out, though it's a lighter and thinner fit, it is actually slightly heavier I believe and therefore it's not as nice and because the larger the screen the more tensile weight you're going to end up getting so what do I mean it means it's more fiddly because despite it being quite a light tablet you're going to get this extra weight due to how far away that weight is distributed over your from your hand so my hands here but then I've got all this extra weight due to tensile weight so it doesn't feel light at all now camera wise the two cameras are fine but I would say you probably aren't going to be using the selfie camera for taking selfies. It's not exactly ideal because, again, you can't hold this really with one hand. And the button, though, being very well placed down here at the bottom, uh, it's just not very easy to balance this while trying to take a selfie. Now, the screen is very good. Um, I find it's uh, bright enough for outside use. It's not as bright as Apple products. Apple products are probably about 600 to 800. This is 435. I don't usually have this on the highest brightness setting anyway because I like to save power um, but I do adjust the brightness in order to look at the colours of my drawings. Now price wise I've mentioned it before but I got this for 219 um, If you buy an Apple with a lower gen and they don't usually go on sale anyway uh, it's about 300 and then the pencil on top will be another 100 so already this is half its value of the Apple product. And if you're really using this for drawing, I don't know if Ibis Paint comes on Apple, but if it does, then you can use that for free. But originally I was going to go for Procreate and Procreate comes with a price tag, which is, again is an additional expenditure. So if you're looking for something on the cheap that will still provide you with that flexibility, this is the tablet I would recommend. Um, because again, like I mentioned, it, um, it gives you that added low cost but then it gives you that flexibility as well that Apple products don't give. Um, what do I mean by that? The iOS, for example, is tied to the iCloud um, and it's also, also tied to iTunes. So if I, for example, use a normal Windows PC, I need to install iTunes and then plug in my tablet, make an iTunes account in order to access my own information on the tablet. The that is a no-go for me because mainly I don't like having to have to have another app in order to take away my own files and transfer them somewhere else. I want it to be quick, I want it to be fast, I want it to be like a portable hard drive, I want to just plug it in and I can access it. The most I'll need is um, myself to be able to enter the password on the tablet to make sure that the person accessing that data is there. Now. It does come with a number of ranges of authentication for security, like password, pin codes, the weird swipe thing, and then the face recognition. But it does warn you that its face recognition isn't that great because the camera's not that great. Um, the other upside is obviously it's got 64 gigabytes instead of Apple, um, Apple's low end model, which is 32 gigabytes, which is already double the memory. And because you have external uh, memory um, capabilities here at the bottom, you can actually um, 
increase your memory to one terabyte if you need to. Um, personally, I've not had that use yet because I'm only drawing on it. And I use the um, Google Drive in order to move my documents so I can easily access them using my laptop if I happen to plug on the device. Though once that runs out, I'll probably have to think of another way of storing things. But for the meantime, it works. Um, I only use this mainly for drawing. I do use it for things like Reddit and um, YouTube Studio uh, and then the Pixfi and DeviantArt, but that's about what I really use the tablet for. I haven't yet had the chance to text out a lot of the um, stuff that came with the tablet, like the Samsung native apps. Um, there is a screen record function, which I plan to use in the future, but I know that the app also has like things like uh, screen write, where you can write on whatever is on the screen and save it as an image. So there's a number of things I need to and want to test out on the tablet um, to maybe see what I can do with that in terms of recording my drawings. Uh, maybe there's a live stream function that I can probably use to live stream, um, I don't know, trying to create a piece of art, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware. I, I used to Remember when I got a new phone, especially with Android, you usually have a lot of native bloatware that you need to remove. Um, so the only ones that I could notice that were there were uh, Netflix and Spotify, which I both don't use, but I believe they're commonly used by other people. So those apps being there might be a, a, an okay thing for you. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Not too sure. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, one of the functions I really love with this tablet or with um, just the fact that it's there because technically it's now on iOS anyway and it's not the better version of the of what's available right now because technically there are better versions of this uh, being used right now for Samsung. One of them being that um, you can now use free. So. I love the split screen function. This is my to go whenever I want to draw and I need a reference uh, for uh, a character's uh, costume, for example. Now you can adjust this by holding the blue line at the top to move the windows around. So you can adjust it from the top to bottom, side to side. And then if you need to make one side larger, there's a free button, a uh, free dot button that you can just drag to the side. And if you drag it all the way, then it will just make it back into a single image. And if you really do need another another app running, for example, so let me just over Pixfee, for example, I can then open this as a pop-up. And if I have that as a pop-up, I can also have that running at the same time. So you see here, the pop-up's there. And if I want it, I can access it there. And then I can move this around as well. And then therefore, I have free displays, uh, sorry, free apps running at the same time. I do plan to try to use Dex at one point. I mean, there is Bluetooth, so I do have a Bluetooth mouse. I just need a Bluetooth keyboard, and then I could be able to use it for writing. Um, I've not tried that yet, so I might try that later on um, when I get a chance. Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest downside for me for using... Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be using anything, really. It's more like the apps themselves are designed to be ad-heavy. YouTube alone is forcing me to watch ads that I can usually block off um, but this time I can't block them so that's why I don't really use this for media consumption I'm not a fan of ads and most of the ads are irrelevant as well so it doesn't do anything for me um, the case is really good um, I opted for a see-through case um, it nicely fits the camera it's got this angle here that means that the camera is protected and then this cover though I do find it disappointing that this has no magnetic strip and this has no magnets here, so make this a stronger hold. It does provide me with the drawing template that I needed, which is also very good. Um, I know people use this um, for taking notes in university, so again, it is on the cheaper side compared to any I think available. There are other Android drawing apps, sorry, tablets like Huawei, um, Lenovo, uh, can't think of any other ones, but yeah, 
that would be something you can go for. The pen's latency isn't actually that low. It's actually quite high. I've actually found myself happy while using this item. I mean, probably not noticeable because this is my first tablet and the S6 Lite is quite good anyway. Um, and because it's using the Wacom technology, you're not going to be struggling as much anyway. I have tried using the S8 and the S7 using Clip Studio. Um, I did notice there was a latency on that one, like some lag on the app. I didn't get to taste, test the Ibis Paint. I do think the Ibis Paint is better designed for Android uh, tablets. So I'm quite happy with sticking to that for right now. Um, yeah, I, I would recommend um, this tablet to anyone. Uh, do I have any final words I want to add? I don't believe I do. No, I, I think I'll add one more thing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my first video, but I got this to try to be more productive and more creative during my downtime. I mean, I, I've I've been watching TV shows, movies non-stop during COVID and I found myself basically lazing around. So this is one way that I thought I would try and spend that time while watching TV and movies to kind of do something more productive and more creative and maybe even open a new line of revenue if I am, if I'm more confident in what I'm doing. But, you know, while I am enjoying this device, um, I would say go research yourself because it might be that this isn't to your liking. It's very hard to find a floor model of this tablet, by the way. I could not find it. They only have the S7, S8 in most of the larger retailers. And Samsung themselves, even if you go to Samsung Experience Store, they don't have this tablet on display. So you can't even test this if you want. Um, I don't know if the 22 uh, model is going to be more expensive. I did Google a lot of the models outside of the UK. And from what I could see, they were selling for 300 to 400 euros or more, which means that if they send the UK, it's going to be even is either the same price that it was for the S6 Lite before it goes on sale, or it's going to be more expensive. And the only thing that they changed with that was just a chip. So going from Samsung's own chip to a Snapdragon chip. Um, reviewers online did show that it was slightly faster on the boot up. Um, I can't tell the performance because obviously I've not been able to uh, test either model before buying this one. Now I did test all the Apple products and I have to say Apple has um, a higher finish in certain respects. Um, the apps do load up quicker but these are minor inconveniences um, for, a, for a very affordable product that would be a gateway to um, helping you develop uh, digital art skills for example. Um, yeah, I, I believe that's it. That's all I want to say. I mean, go out, check, make sure that it is what you're looking for. Don't just buy because someone is telling you to, to, um, trust in their review. Um, this is my only tablet I've ever had. I can't really give you more in depth than what I've, uh, tested out at the shops myself. Um, Originally, I was going to settle on the iPad Air, the new model, but then I saw the negative reviews about how you can bend it and it causes this weird noise. Not really happy with that. Then obviously the additional pen being £120 because it's using the Apple Pencil 2. And then the other things with the apps being more expensive and then the restrictiveness of the iOS. All of those things convinced me to go with something that I feel will be more convenient to me so because I'm not in any ecosystem I can make that choice whereas if you're with an Apple ecosystem I can say that you probably would be better off with Apple because then you can kind of connect everything together they do um, have that and Samsung does that as well um, with the later models they even do this uh, screen share function where you can connect your tablet to your Windows laptop and use it like a second screen a second screen function um, but yeah, I'm not wanting any of those luxuries. I just want to get into drawing. So that's the reason why I chose this as my uh, startup model to get me into the groove. And I have found myself using this to draw a lot more than I would have if I had just pen and paper. 
I did try to keep that going, but it is very hard because with materials that are finite, you're going to end up running out of sketchbook paper, you're going to run out of um, your drawing pencils, whatever. So you're trying to conserve that material. At least I, I find myself doing that. With digital, you don't have to, and especially with all of the um, expandable storage, um, cloud storage, you can then make that decision to kind of, you know, move on onto something else, or you just keep using the free options that are available. But yeah, um, I'm happy with this, and that's the review I want to share with you, my experience with this, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, and thank you for watching. Bye.